Hello everyone here and welcome back to another video. Now, it has been quite a while since I uploaded, um, but if you have me on social media, you'll know that I haven't just been uploading just because I couldn't be asked or just because I've been lazy with it. But uh, something has happened recently in my personal life. Um, yeah, that's basically got in the way of me doing basically anything. And uh, it's affected my mental health very badly. Uh, my mental health at the minute ain't the best. So yeah, me taking a two week break off was definitely needed, 100% needed. Um, like I said, I don't really want to go into personal details of like what I've got, all that shit, whatever. But I, I don't like mixing my personal life with YouTube. That's just me personally. My mental health ain't completely there at the minute, so if you could just bear with me. But uh, with YouTube, you know, if you leave it too long, then um, viewers will start to leave. So, gotta jump back on before the viewers leave. I know you lot watching right now, stick through me, whatever, but some people won't wait around. So, you know, I'm kind of like, I gotta make a video. So, I know those of you telling me, like, take as long as you need. I can't take as long as I need. If it took as long as I need, my YouTube channel would die. So, yeah, <laughs> it's just a bit of a stressful situation. But nevertheless, it feels semi kind of good to be back making a video. So, yeah. But, yeah, enough about my mental health. You know what I mean? That's my shit to deal with. But nevertheless, let's get on with the video. Today's video, yeah, is different types of shopkeepers. Before we get into this video, let's see if we can smash 30,000 likes. Smash the like button right now for 10 years of good luck. Yeah, let's see if we can hit 30,000 likes. It's right there, it only takes two seconds. Also, before we get into this video, I just want to plug my Instagram because we are now verified, yeah? Look at that, we're verified. So if you ain't following me on Instagram already, go and follow me. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. <laughs> Right, so the first type of shopkeeper, yeah, I'm sure every single one of you can relate to this, yeah, is the one who gets absolutely run all over. And you know what I actually feel for these shopkeepers? Maybe it's because I'm a bit older now, but I think even if I was younger, I'd still feel the same. But you know the shopkeepers that are so nice, and they just get absolutely run over by f***ing little chavs. They have no authority, nothing like that. Like, literally, like, 13-year-old kids come in and rob the shop and, like, abuse them. Like, who's, who's the parent to these kids? You see chavs, yeah? Who's actually their parents? Like, you see roadmen, there's kind of a difference. But see chavs, like scatty little kids that like go, f off mate, you fucking prick. Like, who actually, who's actually their mum and dad? Like you're 12 years old smoking cigarettes. What, what are you doing? Yeah, the first one's basically the shopkeepers that get absolutely overrun by these little gremlins. Okay, darling. Yes, I'll pick up some fish and chips on the way home. Okay. Hold on, darling, I've just got a customer to deal with. Hey, you can't be doing that. What? Who are you fucking talking to, mate? My older brother will come down here and break your legs if you're not careful. Yeah, I'll get you done for rape, you nonce. I'll tell my family you touched me, you old pervert. I must warn you that there's cameras watching. What, do you like looking at little girls, do ya? I'm only fucking 13, you pedo. No, of course not. It's just to keep an eye on customers. Do you think we care about cameras? I am paying for shit. <laughs> Daisy, watch this. <laughs> hey, that's not nice. I'm gonna have to sweep that up now. Shut up, you old bleak. You don't tell me or my sister what to do. She ain't a div. I'm not your sparkle. Yeah, I'll get me older cousin than you. He's 19 and he's a boxer. Please, I don't want any trouble. Just, just leave now before I call the police. I ain't scared of the police. My old man's been to jail two times. Once for claiming benefits falsely, and the other one for nicking dust caps of a Rolls Royce. He's a proper gangster. You can't touch me. Just leave, please. I'll, I'll have to make you. Do something then. Do something. What? You think because I'm 14 I won't scrap you up, chubby boy? I ain't a dingo. Look, here, take that, you bugs. That hurt. Give us a bottle of Ciroc and a 20 pack of Mayfair now. No, I don't think your parents will approve of that. No one tells us no, you ain't our mum. And besides, our mum lets us smoke because she ain't tight like our parents. Hey, right, Jace, grab the beers and let's go. Good idea, sis. <laughs> hey, no, wait. <laughs> you can't just do that. Come back. <sighs> Hello? Yes, please. Yes, I just had my whole shop robbed. By who? A 13 and 14 year old. Right, now the next type of shopkeeper here is the one that serves young girls alcohol. Yes, there's always one shopkeeper that serves little girls, underage girls, 
Vodka. Ah, and they all telling me that's not a bit. And I say girls because girls get served, but at the same time, like me being an adult, I can tell if a girl is under 18 and trying to look over 18. Like you can just tell they're young, even though they look older for their age, you can still tell they're young. And the shopkeepers, the dirty old perverts, can definitely tell that they're a child. But I don't know what they think they're getting up to sending out young girls vodka, but bruv. Seriously, like that's that borderline nonsense. Like, what are you gaining? Because if you kept that same energy when it was boys, and it's like, okay, maybe you're just serving kids because you just want to get the drink served. But the fact you just took it to little girls, nah, you need to, <laughs> you're definitely on some register somewhere. These geezers definitely f***ing read the Sex Offender Weekly magazine when they go to sleep. Cool, bruv, I actually can't wait until late. I'm gonna get into a terrible state. Tell me about it, bruv. F*** a mixer, I'm drinking that shit straight. Aye, aye. <laughs> yes, bruv, finally. Hold on. Where's the vodka? Oh shit, I forgot to tell you. My sister couldn't get it for us. She's too busy. Oh, what? What do you mean she couldn't get it? You said you'd handle this days ago. Oh my days, man. You're actually so annoying. Now what are we going to do? You've ruined the night. Chill, chill, man. Look, I've got another solution. Oh, and what's that? Have you finally been watching tutorials on how to tie a noose? You can hang yourself. No, I'm going to go get served. Oh, well, f me. That's a great idea, isn't it? I don't know why I didn't think of that before. It's almost as if you forgot that we're all 16. Bruv, you seriously lost the plot if you think you're getting served in a shop. Not just any shop. That shop. Oh yeah? Well, what's so special about that shop? The geezer inside f***ing retarded or something? No, you idiot. Haven't you heard? He serves youngers. Danny Wright asked one the other day and he got served and he looks younger than all of us. Yeah, but he was probably with girls. Girls always get served. Mind you, Danny is a bit of a fat cunt and he does have bigger tits than most of them, so I wouldn't be surprised if he got served. No, you see, that's the thing. This geezer only serves boys. It's different. Serving little boys alcohol. What is he, a nonce or something? No, of course not. He's just safe. Yeah, safe is behind prison bars. What's his hobbies on the weekend? Selling sweets to school kids from his transit van? No, bruv, don't be stupid. He probably just can relate to us because when he was younger, he didn't get served. Look, anyways, it's worth a try. Uh, yeah. Suppose so. Go on then, we'll wait out here. Cool, won't be a minute. A few moments later. You right, boss? Uh, I was wondering if I could get some alcohol. Sure, the beers are over there to the left. <laughs> uh, no, um, the thing is, I actually haven't got any ID, but um, I heard that's not a problem here. Ah, underage, are we? <laughs> well, yeah, I, I wouldn't usually admit it, but yeah, I am. I hope that's not a problem. Oh no, child, it's not a problem. If anything, it's a lovely surprise having a sexy young boy in my shop. <laughs> How can I help you? Um, just a bottle of vodka, please. Of course! Oh, would you look at that? We don't have any more vodka out here in the front. Why don't you come with me into the back room and we can check together? Um, okay, sure. Excellent. A few moments later. So, uh, how long have you had this shop for now then? Oh, not long. I brought it off the previous owners a couple of months ago. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> um, why'd you lock the door? Ah, oh, well, uh, we need a bit of privacy, don't we? I mean, the things that go on behind here aren't exactly legal. <laughs> oh, yeah. I suppose it's not. Indeed. Oh, what a shame. By the looks of it, we don't have any vodka back here either. Oh, well, it's not a problem. I'll just leave it. No, no, don't be silly now, boy. Where there's a will, there's a way. Mm. How could I give you some alcohol? Well, that's it. I did drink a lot of vodka last night. I've got just a solution. <laughs> What are you doing? Well, 
what does it look like? I'm fixing you a drink, of course. Ah. Bottoms up. Ah. Splendid. Here, have some. Um, uh, I'm all right, thanks. I, I think I should go. Are you sure? It's lovely and warm. Ah. No, uh, honestly, thanks, but um, my friends are waiting outside. They're probably wondering where I am. Drink my piss, boy! Do you want me to tell your parents and the police how you're trying to buy alcohol underage? No. Well then, bottoms up! <laughs> If you know any shopkeeper here yeah, that serves young children alcohol, especially girls, hit the lab right now and let me know down below because there's literally the amount of borderline nonsense out there that do that. I personally know one, yeah? Like, it's tapped. Right, now the final type of shopkeeper, yeah, it's kind of like shopkeeper, security guard kind of thing, but it's the one that follows you around the shop. Now, I get they have to do their job, but there's nothing more annoying when you clearly ain't gonna steal, especially when you're an adult, yeah? I, I, I know like most of you are like 15, 16, but the ones that do watch me that are my age and over 18, when people are following you around the shop, oh my God, bruv, it's like, what are you doing? You think I'm not gonna pay for this? And they make it so bait when they're staring at you as well. Like if you're gonna follow me around and keep an eye on me, keep it discreet, you are the, oh bruv, it actually winds me up being stared at that, give it a dirty look. Yeah mate, he's definitely chatting shit. No way he's got that many wins. I've played with him and he's pony. Anyways, I'm at the shop now. Do you want anything? Um, yeah, go on. Just get me some Monster Munch. All right. They've only got uh, pickled onions. That's all calm. Yeah, that's calm. I swear shops never have any other flavor. I'm gonna lie, I do rate the beef ones the same as the flaming up Monster Munch. Just bang, innit? But yeah, nah, pickled onions calm. I'll, I'll do a pickled onion. Yeah, trust me. Anyways, I'll see you in a bit. Leave now, yeah? Sweet, in a bit. Sweet. Is there a problem? No, mate. No problem here. Just checking out the aisles. Right. F idiot. <sighs> mate, what are you doing? Don't look like a dickhead or something. I know you're following me. It's my shop. I walk where I like. Don't like it? Get out. Okay. <sighs> hmm. Oh, mate, what is your fucking problem? If you really think I'm gonna steal or drink that costs one pound, you seriously need to get your head looked at. Don't play dumb with me, boy. I know your game. Boy, I'm 21 years old. I have a decent job and I have a house. I don't need to steal from your shitty shop. You're all the same. I can tell by the way you're dressed. The way I'm dressed. What are you going on about, bruv? What, just because I'm wearing tracksuit bottoms and a hat that automatically means I'm gonna rob you? Are you sure? Ah, oh, bruv, I beg you just go back to the till when I meet you there. You're actually making me feel uncomfortable. You wanna watch him, Dave? I've seen his kind before. Make sure he pays for them crisps. Don't worry, Marjorie, I'm keeping an eye on him. I'm sorry, who are you? And since when was any of this your fucking business? You'd rob the poor man blind. I've seen it all before. No, I fucking won't, man. I will actually give him the money at the till when I finish shopping. Is that not the way it works? Or does he have to sniff up my arse the whole time when I'm looking about? Be careful, Dave. He's getting aggressive. I'd call the police if I was you. Call the police? For what? Is everyone in this shop fucking deluded or something? Well, you was about to steal that, wasn't you? <laughs> no, I wasn't. Yeah, yeah, that's what all you hoodlums say. Oh, you know what? I've changed my mind. I ain't paying for these anymore. You can go f yourself. All right, come here. Anyways, that is another video. I hope you did enjoy. Do you know what? By the end of this video, it does feel kind of good to be back. You know, I, I, I missed making content for you lot because I love making you lot laugh and I love entertaining you lot. I love the feedback you lot give me. I go through read the comments all the time. And uh, yeah, it's sick. I love the Keza Army. The community, my community is sick, man. It's actually made me feel better. 
making making a video. I'm um, not gonna lie, I'm struggling for video ideas at the minute. So if you have any video ideas that I haven't done, I do see a lot of you commenting video ideas that literally I've done like two weeks ago. It's like, do you watch my channel? Um, but if you've got any video ideas that you want me to do that I haven't done, comment them down below. Doesn't have to just be skits as well, could literally be anything. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm open to like kind of like do other stuff. While we're in lockdown as well, I'm gonna try like maybe do other stuff. But yeah, skits is my main thing. That's what that's my niche, that's what I'm good at. But yeah, nevertheless, before we end this video, let's see if we can smash 30,000 likes. Like I said at the start, smash that like button right now. It doesn't take two seconds. Subscribe today to join the Kizar Army and uh, yeah, bye. I'ma do shit to just piss them off. Say you never heard me, it's your loss. They